guys, today I wanted to talk to you about another myth or trap that is very prevalent in the weight loss community and definitely has left me wondering a couple of times. And that is the throw away your scale myth. Basically what this myth is trying to tell me is that weight is not as important as health. And that by using my scale to weigh myself, I'm sabotaging my efforts and causing myself more emotional distress needlessly because the number on that scale is not as important as how I feel. First off, while I can see where they're coming from, that the number on the scale is not as important as how I feel, I know that I can feel great and still be incredibly unhealthy and need to lose weight. That is a fact. And that's why we have weight ranges. Because there's no one weight that's good for every person that's 27 years old and 5 foot 3. But there is a healthy weight range, usually within 10 to 20 pounds of each other. And two, that scale can be a great motivator and an indicator of progress if you do it right. So how you might be asking, does one keep their scale and weigh themselves without going insane every time they look at said scale? Number one, for heaven's sakes, don't weigh yourself every day. The human body can fluctuate anywhere from one to 10 pounds every day, depending on what food you're eating, if you're going through your menstrual cycle, if you have trauma, if you're sick. There's lots of different reasons to not weigh yourself every day. Sarah, I'm looking at you. <laughs> Number two, do weigh yourself at the same time of the day each day, wearing the same outfit and at regular reasonable intervals. Just FYI, this is for those of you trying to lose weight. So the easiest thing to do is just pick a schedule. Once a week, twice a month, once a month, once every six months. Whatever you think you need to do to stay motivated and keep on top of your weight. So when does the scale become not so important? Basically this is different for everybody. For me, I'll probably stop giving so much importance to the scale when I'm about 10 pounds from my goal or once I'm within my healthy weight range. As a five foot three individual, my weight range is anything from 110 pounds to 140 pounds depending on which website you look at. Another time when the scale becomes not so important is once you've reached your goal and you're done with your weight loss journey because we all know that muscle weighs more than fat. Once you've gotten rid of the bulk of your body fat and you're moving into muscle toning, your body weight is probably not gonna be your main gauge. Your main gauge is probably gonna be what you look like in the mirror and how your clothes fit. In another video, I think I'm gonna talk about why exercise is important from the beginning of your weight loss journey to the end. I'm pretty sure everybody's heard that, but the reasoning behind that is really important for your later journey, especially for those of you who are obese or really highly overweight. It's gonna affect the looseness of your skin and also it's gonna affect your metabolism throughout your weight loss journey and how fast you can actually lose all that weight. So that's all I have for today. Don't let the scale control you. Control the scale. Set a day to weigh and stick to it. From now on, rain or shine, come Friday morning, I'm stepping on that scale. Why not Mondays? Because Mondays are hard enough, guys. Come on. So now you're probably all like, hmm, is it Friday morning where she is? It is indeed, and here is my weigh-in for today, Friday, October 12th. See you guys tomorrow. Bye! The perfect day. That magical day that we all think is going to happen where we wake up in the morning and we have the best day ever and we do our exercise and we eat right and we sleep good and life is perfect and everything is wonderful. <laughs> Try your best but you don't succeed When you get what you want but not what you need so tired but you can't sleep stuck in